today was another fantastic release of striped newts back into the Apalachicola National Forest as part of the striped newt repatriation project. In the Munson Sandhills region of the forest, two striped newt releases show us how ephemeral wetlands can change over the span of a few months. Striped newts are one of our winter breeding amphibians. They migrate down to the wetlands during cold rainy nights and even though the air temperatures can get down to below freezing, they are active, they are reproducing. They release newts in pairs to increase their chances of mating. Here's the female. She's gravid, full of eggs through the skin there and you can see the eggs. The male, see how large his back legs are? And also he's got little fingernails at the tips of his phalanges. This is the moment I love the most, y'all. Stripe Newt Project, we get to release them. We haven't had this much rain out here in, in four or five years, and that's a really good thing for the amphibian productions in general and our Stripe Newt Project in particular. For the majority of this project, this area has been completely dry in between these two wetlands. This is our underwater drift fence, except it's a terrestrial drift fence now underwater because of all of the surplus of rainfall that we've had since the summertime here in the Tallahassee area. Last year, we did not get significant winter rains, so we were not able to release striped newts, adults in the wintertime. Come the summertime, we had just enough rain and just enough water in the wetlands that we felt comfortable releasing larvae. There is something in his belly. Yeah, yeah. maybe oh, yeah. you can pop it out. It's in the, in the stomach, you can do it. By netting the wetland and checking drift fences, they know what animals share the wetlands with striped newts. Oh, look at her gulp air. See that? Yeah. That was pretty neat. Their release ponds are aligned, so they held water when nearby wetlands were dry. It's natural for them to go dry seasonally, which allows fire to pass through. We want all of our striped newt study wetlands to burn through like this. It's good for the vegetation there. In fact, can you see the, the pine tree crop that was trying to encroach in? One of the reasons for the decline of many of our southeastern amphibians, we believe, is the lack of fire over the past century. When we don't have a lot of rain and the wetland basin is dry and we don't get a lot of fire coming through the wetland basin, a lot of woody vegetation can colonize the wetlands. WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas. There he goes.